Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're gonna go over a few easy steps to level your RV. If you purchased a fifth wheel or travel trailer with auto level, congratulations, you just helped eliminate probably one of the hardest parts of setting up your RV. For the rest of us, have a little bit of patience. Over time, you'll start to get an eye for it and it'll become a little bit easier. The first step is to back your RV into the site and get it lined up. You'll want to stop about a foot or two short of your final parking spot. At this point, you'll want to use a combination of eyesight and a level to determine how far off your camper is left to right. Generally, I try to put my level on the bumper if it's easy to get to, or you can use the tongue or even put it in the middle of your main living area. You can also purchase levels that attach to the outside of your RV. Once you have an idea which side of your camper needs to come up, then you can place your leveling blocks. You'll need to build them up based upon how unlevel your RV is. Step three, place the block behind the tires and drive backward onto them. Once that's done, put your level back down and ensure that the RV is level. If it's not, drive forward, add or remove blocks and repeat. This is where the patience I talked about at the beginning of your video comes into play. Step four, once you have your travel trailer leveled side to side, this is when you wanna level it front to back. It's pretty simple, all it takes is a little bit of elbow grease, unless you have a power tongue jack, then of course you just push a button. Otherwise, you'll crank it up or down accordingly, and then again, take your level, you either go inside right by the stairwell to make sure it's level front to the back, and probably more importantly, if you have a small level, put it in the freezer compartment to make sure that that is level too. Now that the RV is completely level, step five is to lower down your stabilizer jacks. If you have power ones like I do here on the Mallard, you can simply touch a button, nice and easy to drop them down. Or if you have a manual one, I do recommend using the hand tool that comes with it. A lot of people do use a power drill, however, that does cause a lot of wear and tear to the jacks themselves. It's also important to make sure you have pads down to give it a solid surface. Please bear in mind, folks, that the stabilizer jacks are not meant to level your RV. These are not an auto level system. When you put these down, your RV should already be level. These are purely to stabilize the unit so you don't get a bunch of rocking when you're walking around inside. And that brings us to the sixth and final step, which is opening up your slides. Once that's done, you can sit back, relax, pat yourself on the back, and have a nice cold beverage. Congratulations, your RV is level and you're ready to start camping. To see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching, I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping. Thank you.